Hi everybody, it's Ariel Warren, registered dietitian, certified pump trainer, certified diabetes educator, and most importantly, type 1 diabetic. I'm also an online telehealth educator if you need help with your diabetes. Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to store up on Dexcom forever. Okay, no, I'm going to teach you how to do a total 10-day restart with your Dexcom G6. And when you do this, continue to order your supply so that you can stockpile right? It's never a good day when you don't have your G6 sensor when you're really used to it. Okay, so this is a three-step process and when you do this process, this is my restart is through your phone, so make sure that anything that else, any other device that is talking to your transmitter to just either turn it off or turn off the CGM capability. So the other receivers are the tandem pump or a receiver from Dexcom. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to once you do a normal sensor start, you're going to want to keep that little code and stuff it in a place where you know you won't lose it. Okay, so you're going to go along with your happy 10 days of using your Dexcom. And then once that ends, you're going to have your session expire, which is great. And then when you start a new session, do not pull off that sensor. Keep it on. Don't touch it. What you're going to do is once, now you're going to, sorry, start that sensor. And once you start that sensor, it's going to ask for a code, ignore that. And then your deck's going to say, hey, no, but now you have to calibrate. Whatever. It's fine. And so then here, your warm-up's going to start and you're just going to let it keep on going and then finally about 30 40 minutes in your dexcom is going to freak out and say hey no restart we caught you which is fine i was like you didn't really catch me but okay so then at that point you're going to want to start a new sensor again don't touch that sensor that's on you and then you're going to put a timer on your phone for exactly 15 minutes once the 15 minutes goes off and the warm up on your Dexcom says one hour and 45 minutes, you know, 15 minutes minus subtracted from two hours, then you're going to stop your current session. So stop sensor when it's at one hour and 45 minutes. And then you're going to start it one more time. And this time you're going to put that four number code in and then you're just going to let it do its thing and then two hours later you're going to get readings and you should get an additional 10 days so it depends on the person if you're more controlled then you should get more days you might get the full 10 days but if you're kind of having this going on then you might not get the full 10 days but try it tell me what you think i will also be talking about looping soon it's fantastic so yes We'll talk about that soon. So have a wonderful day. If you like written out instructions, you can always visit my website and you can work with me if you need help with your diabetes.